All right, so we're going to talk briefly about the project that we've been working on, which is the um, Compute to Learn pedagogy, which we have implemented in the Chem 260 Honor Studio. Um, and this basically involves designing <coughs> interactive computer based demonstrations that help to illustrate um, concepts. And specifically, we've been working in physical chemistry, dealing with physical chemistry concepts, but it's not really. Um, you know, course specific or subject specific. This could be broadened out to uh, any course or, or discipline. <clears throat> so this, uh, the compute to learn pedagogy that we kind of constructed um, is based on active learning strategies. And what we, we try to um, engage the students in authentic research practices where they're working in a cooperative environment. They're kind of given uh, or they select a, a concept um, and they kind of have a problem or they select a problem and they work a lot with their peers. There's a peer review aspect. They, they kind of get a lot of feedback from each other and it, there's no necessarily right or wrong answer. There's a lot of exploration um, that they do uh, more like a, a research, you know, working in a research lab type, type of field and it's, it's done in a studio environment. Um, there's also so obviously one aspect of this is that they're they're creating these, these demonstrations, so they're learning kind of at least basics or fundamentals of writing code, whether they have experience or don't have experience. Uh, we don't take anything for granted. We kind of develop this interactive tutorial that they um, run through for the first couple of weeks. We kind of in in the sessions they'll sit there and uh, work through it with their their peer leaders, and at the end of this. Um, <coughs> course or, or program, they end up with uh, hopefully a demonstration that's actually publishable on the Wolfram uh, website. There's a Wolfram demonstrations project which I'll get into in a little bit more detail. Um, so we have implemented this in the Chem 260 Honor Studio, which basically consists of students in the Chem 260 course, which is like the introductory physical chemistry class, um, that are you know motivated to kind of go a little bit above and beyond the the material just in the standard course and they can end up getting honors credit if they follow through you know and, and work well and, and do the work basically um, and the way that this runs is they, they meet weekly um, I think it's Tuesday evenings that it's been running for two hours in the SLC so they're working you know they have the computers sitting in front of the computers but working collaboratively with each other um, and this is mostly run by peer leaders so we have students that uh, were in the honor studio in a previous semester, and they they basically run the course. We kind of sit in the background, and we do a lot of planning, and you know we can help out where needed. But a lot of the, the sessions are actually run by the peer leaders, um, and it's it's pass fail, meaning that either you get the honors credit or you don't get the honors credit. Um, you know you kind of follow through. Or you don't. And at the end of this. Um, you end up hopefully having created um, some sort of uh, demonstration that, that illustrates uh, a physical chemistry concept and there's uh, what this is called the Wolfram Demonstrations Project where they have a repository of a whole bunch of demonstrations. These are not specific to, to even just science. Uh, there's science, there's math, there's all kinds of things, uh, statistics, uh, even outside of you know the STEM fields. They have all kinds of demonstrations. Some of them are really cool, really interesting in there. They allow you to interact with things um, in real time. There's you know sliders or buttons, and you can play around with it and see physically what you're doing by manipulating various um, data points or, or things like that. Um, and just to give you an idea, this is just a GIF that I made. This is on the website, um, our website, which there's a link that I'll give you at the end if you want to explore further uh, but rather than taking time to go through an actual demo this kind of gives you an idea there's sliders at the top this is pretty basic this is an isobaric compression and expansion demonstration that one of the GSIs did when we were first investigating you know developing um, this project and it allows you to kind of really get a feel of what's going on when you're you know you can vary the external pressure your uh, initial volume your final volume things like that and, and see how that affects the work. 
get a, a, a visual depiction um, of what's going on here. This is just kind of an example, one of many, many, many different demonstrations. Uh, okay. Uh, so this semester actually is the first time we ever tried doing this. Um, so the basic setup is that in the first four weeks of the semester, we have the students basically learn how to code and use the software and draw all the pictures and stuff like that. In addition, we give them a bunch of prompts to look at. So we kind of say, like, come up with an idea of something you want to work on. Uh, like I said, we kind of give them some ideas, but we also said, like, if you have your own idea, of course, you can pursue that as well. So for the first four weeks, they're basically just in the planning and learning stages. Um, for the rest of the weeks, they are actually working together, writing up the code in class with the help from peer leaders and the graduate students who are there. And um, every couple weeks, we also have them give like a tiny presentation that's a little informal. We say like, show everybody what you've done so far, like what problems are you having? Um, so we can talk about that. And they, they're able to get feedback from their peers, basically. Um, and they find that helpful. So since this is the first time, uh, we didn't really know how this was going to go, but it actually went pretty well. So we only had six students, and it looks like Five of them, at least, are going to be able to submit a demonstration. This sixth guy might be able to actually. It's kind of we're not done with the semester, so we'll see. So um, I think that aspect of it went pretty well, and I'm going to show you an example of something that student made. So um, one guy drew up this. He wanted to make a demonstration that shows a heat engine, basically. So this was his plan, which he presented to the class. Maybe it's hard for you to see, but he basically drew up what he wanted to make. Um, he made a plan for what little sliders he was going to have and everything. And this isn't his finished product, but this is basically what he's going to submit either this week or next week. So he's actually able to follow through with this. So uh, hopefully you'll see this on the Wolfram demonstration site pretty soon. And uh, to take this project further, we have a lot of um, future directions we're thinking about. So we only had six students, which they were all really good students, but we'd like to have a lot more. So we're thinking about including um, the Chem 230 students, which is also a physical chemistry course. So uh, we think students really benefit from having like more peers, more like peer review. Um, we're looking into developing more prompts so that the students have more project choices. Um, I think this is one part where like it's hard for a student to come up with a concept, especially in the beginning, because this is their first time in physical chemistry, so they don't really know that much. And we're also looking into collecting some data and doing some research, but uh, we're very early in this stage, so and we also don't have a lot of people. Uh, if anybody has any input uh, in that regard, we would really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for listening. So this is everyone who works on the project. So there's me and Kyle up there. Um, our advisor is Dr. Eitan Geva. Um, Heidi Phillips, who is no longer at the University of Michigan, was also um, really important to help us develop this project. And these are the graduate students. And at the bottom two, we have our peer leaders here, um, Michael and Wendy, who are awesome. And we get our funding from FFGSI and the Third Century Initiative. So. Uh, thanks for listening, and we'll take any questions. We have time for one or two questions. Yeah. How were students assigned to these sections? Was it a random assortment, or was there a recruiting tool, or was it a volunteer? Or? Yeah, they basically volunteer. So we went into the class and we said, "Hey, do you guys want to do this cool thing?" And some. A few people showed up. <laughs> yeah, we, we basically you know, we go into the lecture and give like a five minute presentation. Hey, you know, we're running an honor studio. If you're interested in, in participating, you can get honors credit for the course. Um, type of thing. What do you think would be the best way to plug this if you were looking to boost numbers in future iteration? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's a couple of things that we can do. Um, obviously, we try to make it as appealing as possible. And, and you know, you don't want to turn anybody off, make it sound like it's really a lot of work or anything like that. Um, but I think that we started with, a, uh, how many students did we start with? Like, like, 10 or 11, yeah. Uh, yeah. We so, lost some guys. So some, you know, they were there for the first couple of weeks or so, and they kind of decided it wasn't for them. Um, so we did start with actually a, a pretty decent number, and we still, you know, we, we maintained a, a, a number of students that we were happy with, being that this was the first time that we did it. Um, but definitely, you know, we, we can come up with ways to kind of... Um, I think we can have, like, more, we can get more people to walk through the door, basically, now that we have students who've completed yeah. it. So there's all, it's also, yeah. there's a word of so mouth element, so this is kind of... We a, can have, like, yeah. an old student say, like, yeah, I did this thing, it was really cool. And right. 